Hey, it's Steve again. Thanks for coming back, Soggy Bottom Farm. Got to get some power uh, attached to this little jimmy rig right here. I've decided I'm going to make some slip rings. And uh, that's how we're going to provide power to it. I got this piece of PVC chucked up in the little smithy here. I'm going to take a grinder and cut a couple of grooves in it down here somewhere. Spread them out a little bit. Then we'll shove it down into a fitting with some uh, contacts inside the uh, PVC fitting. Let's see how it turns out. Hang in there. I cut a couple of grooves in that thing. Can you see that? Focus in. Well, you can see some grooves. This is some 14 gauge copper wire. I took it off some Romex. It's going to fit right down in that groove. I'm going to pop a couple holes in these grooves. Tighten this wire up so that it gets submerged inside these grooves like, like such. And then, uh, man, that does not look very focused to me. But anyways, and then we'll insert it into a fitting with a screw. And the screw will contact here and here. Two different screws. And that's how we're going to provide power to this drill. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this old drill. Hang in there. This wire is about, oh, I don't know, 65-ish. We need two of them in there, so let's get something about an eighth of an inch. It don't have to be perfect. Here, this will work. Let's pop a couple holes in this thing. Alright, clean them holes up, wrap them wires on there, we'll solder these two down inside to the slip rings, and we're halfway home. I might even do it on the big end of this drill also. I might add one back here. You never know what you want to do with this stuff. Hang in there. Okay, I drilled a hole in there. I fed that wire through it. I cut that groove deep enough to try my best to keep this uh, wire higher than the plastic. You know, make sure it's not flush so you can actually make contact. Twist them together. That'll draw it up really super tight. And now we ought to be able to put a positive, negative, negative, back and forth, whatever. Now all we need is a socket. Well, I got to solder the wires to it. Hang on. Okay, I got some wires soldered back onto that handle. I got an idea to do with this thing. That's why the handle's so long. If you keep hanging in there, I promise you, there's something better coming at the very end. But I fed them wires back through this body I made. And they're coming out here. We're going to put another one back here with another slip ring. So I can use this in multiple positions. Alright. I'm going to keep going. When I get to a point where I think I could show you something again. Meaningful. I'll bring you back. Alright. There you go. Slip rings. On a piece of PVC. Right there. Make sure they're proud. Whatever, whatever you want to say. Alright. I'm coming back soon. Hang in there. If you hung in there, it's been about 30 minutes for me. But I made a socket out of PVC fittings. I drilled and tapped it. In my case, it's 1032, quarter 20, whatever the heck you got laying around. I could show you how to do some of this stuff, but you might not be doing the exact same thing. I'm just goofing around, 
maybe entertaining, maybe not. But you know, everybody's got these old junky tools laying around or they've already thrown them away. But you can see, I decided to double up this fitting. I did have just one hole, but I decided to double it up because I did drill and tap it. But this is extended beyond the, uh, that guy right there. The end of this screw right here is sticking out. It's not flush with the wall. Same thing here. See it here? How do you, uh, well, you know what I mean. So now we should just be able to take this drill drop it down in our socket hook up our power turn on our battery charger here am I not in there hang on what is going on here Making contact there. Now, what in the world can we do with something like that? I'm gonna put a cap or something back here and have power on this in case I want to mount that thing like that. I do have an idea for using it like that. I'll show you what that is. Hang in there. I'll be back in a minute. Alright, let me show you where I'm at. I'm going to conclude this video in a minute. Because I know everybody, if you hung around this long, first of all, congratulations. I do intend on gluing all this together and making this a solid unit. You know, if a person wanted to, hey, who in the world would ever just take the clamshell off to do this anyways? I did it and threw it away. Just tinkering one day. Probably drank too much. But anyways, here's where we're at. Um, I figured out why I was having trouble with it running in my socket. I miscalculated the lengths between my slip rings and the bottom of that thing. So I've done dropped another, uh, I dropped a piece of pipe down in there so that, uh, man, why can't I get this stuff to focus? Anyways, you see it in there. There's a piece of pipe in there to act like a shim so that, uh, when I drop it on in there, it'll just go ahead and be sitting right where it needs to be sitting. But here, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to show you why I did this. I got a couple projects in mind, and both of them needed something that would uh, spin. You know, have a little bit of a torque to it, but not much. But here we can later. I got to figure out this trigger, how I'm going to use the trigger. But, uh, oops. Let me put him in over this way. What is going on? Am I not making contact here? Or am I not going in it all the way? I might have to work on that. Yeah, see, I still got a height problem here. I'm barely touching. But anyways, easily solved. Let me, uh... Let me show you what I intend on doing with that thing. My first little, uh, project. I spend a lot of time doing something. I could use some help. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to air condition my lawnmower. I'm going to mount that thing to the hood. And, uh, I don't know if I'll put a switch and just tie wrap this thing down. Or if, uh, well, you know what I'm trying to say. 
I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I am going to mount this thing in such a way that uh, I can have uh, my, uh, I haven't tightened anything up yet. But you know, this drill is like 1700 RPM. I can feel that several feet away. Just the fan that came off of, uh, you know, one of them cheap fans you get from a uh, dollar store. All right, I'm going to move on to uh, using the other part of this thing. I made a thing with slip rings because I want to use this thing in this manner. Also, I don't want it to be limited to just having a fan. I got some other things I need to do and I need to make things spin this way. Anyways, waiting on the dew to dry. If uh, if you want to come on back, come on back. I'm always doing something while I'm waiting on the dew to dry. Okay, I'll get all that tightened up and uh, I'm going to air condition my lawnmower. If you ever got an old power drill like that, don't take the clamshell off and throw it away. Hook it up to the battery in your lawnmower. That's where I'm going to get my power supply. That's why I said it was the biggest battery I'd ever used. Alright, hope you have a great day. Steve out.